Hello everyone! Today we will be talking about recent events on crypto markets, specifically about 3 Arrow, Celsius, Voyage and other large hedge funds that experienced difficulties and even filed for bankruptcy. My explanation starts in year 99, when I opened my first algo trading company and tried to convince my PhD thesis advisor that this is a good idea. He was sincerely puzzled with my decision. Why would anybody put their money in algo trading when all you need to do is to invest in S&P 500 and make 5, 10 and more percent year after year? Such a simple idea. Everybody, including financial institutions, were believing in it. And then came 2001 with 50% drop. Many financial companies filed for bankruptcy and many investors lost their capital entirely. Why 50% is such a big deal? The answer lies in the fact that financial organizations not only invest into assets with buy and hold approach, but also use loans and leverage to do so to get more profits. Leverage is a simple term, meaning that in order to buy 100% of the asset, you can pay a portion of it, 50%, then, and sometimes even single percent of the asset to get the rest of the risk taken by the bank or by exchanges. So when 50% drop happens, those companies lose not only 50%, but they lose 100% and sometimes even more. Let's go to crypto market situation. Bitcoin made hundreds of percent in a bullish move months after month during 2019 and 2020. So the investment companies not only believed in the idea of buy and hold and took loans and used leverage, but also did something quite illegal from my perspective. They gave guarantees to their clients by offering them 10, 20, and other double-digit percentage annually, thus understating risks or bluntly sweeping the risk under the rug. What happened in 2021? Bitcoin fell 72%, and those companies were not able to use effective risk control to protect their capital, not to stand by their guarantees that they provided to their clients. What are the takeaways for us from the recent events? First, using buy and hold approach that seems like an excellent and simple idea during bullish periods is not sustainable in the long run. Second, when everybody starts to believe in such a simple idea, there will be many smart individuals and companies that will take this idea to extremes by leveraging it or by increasing trading capital by taking loans. Third, never trust guarantees of high percentage profits. Remember, high returns always mean high risks. Fourth, an ideal approach for high opportunity markets is an active tactical investment that takes into account volatility and constant changes of the market. Short the market if you can. If you cannot, stay away during bearish periods by switching to stable coins or by exiting to fiat markets. Finally, if you can, keep your money under your own custody. Crypto is a high opportunity market. And while right now it suffers from extreme opportunism taken by companies that ignored basic risk control rules, it is a market to stay and to deliver. Thank you for watching. And let's hope that recent events will not result in a long crypto winter. Let's get to the spring.